The circle symbolizes the Ashihara practitioner's zone of control. It is defined by four circular movements described earlier and enclosed by a large circle drawn with the body at its center. This is the concept that gave birth to the Ashihara approach to self-defense and its graphic representation has been adopted as their symbol. Another fundamental concept of Ashihara Karate is exploiting the natural movements of man. Even in the simple action of walking, we can see the natural power inherent in every human being. Ashihara Karate was created to employ this power more smoothly, effectively, and with greater strength to produce power and flexibility. Power can be stored by drawing your heel to your hip to create tension. Even more power is possible by employing a half step before executing the kick. Kicks must employ the spring in the supporting leg and the twisting of the waist. As soon as the kicking foot returns to the ground, the next kick is on its way. In this fashion, kicks may be delivered in a series as if walking. Middle distance is the most effective distance for any punch or kick. The opening counters are stopping, body stopping, Joint kick. Hook kick. the opponent goes on the offensive, the more visible his weaknesses become. The counter should focus on the areas of least movement or the supporting structure. Ashihara attacks these cracks in the attacker's position. The defender needs only limited power to knock down his opponent. This is Ashihara Karate. Good. When you step back as much as you can, start kicking from here and then follow this with another kick. In this intermediate distance, you can apply many kinds of kicks. Next, after employing a stopping technique, enter the next position right away and execute a high kick or medium high kick. If your timing is a little late, you can make up the lost time by sweeping the opponent's front supporting leg. Don't lock your knee. Remember to keep your knee bent like this. At the moment he begins his kick, apply a stopping technique to his upper inner thigh where motion is at a minimum. In the case of high kicks, the stopping technique is directed at his supporting leg. In the stopping technique, the knee moves in a circular motion. When practicing this technique, be sure to use the arch of the foot to avoid injuries. But in actual fighting situation, the power of the strike is focused on the heel. 
This technique will enable even a smaller man to stop a much larger one. However, remember to avoid extending the leg as the full impact of the opponent's kick will be directly transferred to your stance, forcing you back. You must be careful not to lose your balance. Let's see that once again. That's right. As you extend your leg, kick. Then the next move. Again, kick downward and follow it with an effective counter.